Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.5 beta 3 update on my iPhone XR. So this is iPhone XR and yesterday night I've received iOS 16.5 beta 3. As you can see from the screenshot, this update came in about 455.9 MB and all the devices that you might be having. So this iOS 16.5 would be between somewhere 500 to 600 MB. So in this video, let's talk about what's new with iOS 16.5 beta 3 and you know, what are the new changes that you can expect with upcoming 16.5 public release. Let's talk about that in this video. Video. so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and if i go to the settings general and about section you can see that ios version is of course ios 16.5 and if i tap on it you can see that the new build number for this ios 16.5 developers or public beta 3 is 20F5050F. Now the interesting thing is that now last to last week when we had beta 2 the you know the letter e was at the end but with this update iOS 16.5 beta 3 so it is like ending with F. So we can expect few more betas probably one or two more betas including the RC in coming weeks rather than just expecting iOS 16.5 public release sooner. But in this update, there's very less to talk about, but I couldn't notice any new features with iOS 16.5 beta 3. The more we are progressing towards iOS 17, all the features Apple is keeping for iOS 17. So if you talk about, you know, feature wise, there are no new features with, you know, iOS 16.5 beta 3. Let me show you that in the Apple developers website as well. If you go here and you can see the release notes over here. So it is basically iOS and iPad with 16.5 beta 3 release notes and in terms of new features it only has shared an administrator access you know so that it can pair to the home and the matter accessories so things like that and few of the things which were resolved it is all related to the matter accessories but apart from that in terms of ios features there are no new features with ios 16.5 beta 3 and going forward i expect to see this trend because as in the days are uh, you know going forward we are you know coming to an end of ios 16 and we are expecting ios 17 pretty soon now one more thing i wanted to to talk about you know few of you have commented on my previous video which i posted two weeks back so if you go to the software updates i would like to show you something so once you click on this beta updates there are three options and you can see that my email id which is registered to the apple developers program and it is set here so if you are not yet registered to the apple developers beta program then you might or might not get this update so let me know in the comment section below whether you have got ios 16.5 developer beta 3 update by having the public beta profile so you know the beta profile concept is going away i have talked about this many a times in my previous videos but then again in order to get you know the upcoming updates or this current update you need to register your email id to apple developers program at least if you want to have the developer beta so there are three things here so if i just make it turn off i'll receive the regular updates if i just click on ios 16 public beta instead of just you know having the developer beta here i would have had the public beta instead of having the developer beta so that's the difference or i could either choose it you know the public version which i would be able to have by selecting the off option so that's one thing i wanted to let you all know going forward and definitely with from ios 17 this you know by installing the beta profiles you would not be able to get the developer beta update so that's one thing i wanted to talk about now performance wise this performs really good you know i have been using this for now a couple of hours there are no issues as such and few of you have talked about the notification bug i mean the notifications are choppy with beta updates but i didn't have that issue particularly on this iphone 10r but let's Let's talk about you know there is a new modem firmware but you know with this iphone 10r there is no new modem firmware with this ios 16.5 beta 3 update so there's that to keep in mind 
but if you are interested in the geekbench 5 or the you know benchmarking scores i have ran the geekbench 5 here are the scores for single core and the multi core so the single core score came in about 1110 and the multi core score came in about 2235 so these are the scores for ios 16.5 beta 3 the scores are always similar so between these range so let me know if you have installed this iOS 16.5 beta 3 update on your older devices or if you're using something like iPhone 14 or 14 Pro Max. Let me know that if you are facing any issues or existing bugs was resolved. Let me know that in the comment section below. I just wanted to highlight that we have received one more beta which is iOS 16.5 beta 3 for this week. So probably next to next week or next week we can expect iOS 16.5 beta 4 or probably the week after that iOS 16.5 RC and probably by the third or fourth week of May we can expect the iOS 16.5 public release. So then again that's all for this video. Let me know that if you have liked the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you have enjoyed watching this video. That means a lot to me and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.